Hey Wranglers, welcome back. Like and subscribe. You know I got you all know how to do that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, today we're talking about ghosts and uh, ghost photographs. Now, if you head on over to TikTok, you're going to see a bunch of people saying that I've got ghost footage here or whatever, par super paranormal footage, and it's the scariest thing I've ever seen, and they're going to hype you all up, and they're going to make you sit through a whole minute long video, and then they're going to show you the picture at the end. And you're not really going to see shit, but they're going to act like, you know, that they got terrified by whatever this thing was that they thought they saw. And, uh, you know, this figure in the back or this face hanging down from the wall or whatever. Okay, first of all, 99% of this stuff is what they call paradelia. Paradelia is something that humans have innate in them. And what that means, what paradelia means, is that we do make faces out of stuff that... Um, uh, basically, that we did, we you know, you make faces out of things that aren't there. Like you could be out in the woods looking into the dark, and you might form, you might start to see a shape of an animal or a shape of a person or the shape of a face on the tree or something like that. Or you could be sitting around your house and looking at some kind of decorative piece of flooring or curtains or whatever, and all of a sudden you're looking at these things and, and you start to see it how it's making faces and the designs on these curtains. This was a survival me mechanism when we were out on the plains, savannas, caves, trying to survive, um, you know, through the next night, you know, and it was kind of an early warning system because um, we had to be on, on alert for real things. So this paradelia kept us on our toes for, you know, things that maybe weren't there, but, you know, things that could be there. So um, most of what I've seen on TikTok is, poor paradelia or just crappy videos or, you know, they'll make you watch this, you know, whole minute long and then they'll show you the video at the end and there's like literally nothing there that you can see. But like, what the hell are they talking about? But in the meantime, they'll told you how this is the scariest video they've ever seen in their lives and, you know, be careful and watching it and all that kind of thing. And they're basically full of crap. They're, they're working for clout. Now, let me take a look at my slideshow because we're going to talk about some of the this, some of these pictures, and I want you to guess if this is a real picture of a ghost, or if it's a fake, or if it's, you know, just paradelia going on. So let's go ahead and ride with that, all right? What is this? Is this a real one, or a fake one, or whatever? These guys feel they, okay, and there's another one. We got a, we got a ghost here. Is this a real ghost, a fake ghost, or whatever? I mean, I don't know. Pretty scary to me. Okay, this is something you see vaguely see a figure in the back, which could be stacked boxes and a picture on the wall. Paradelia. This one's pretty scary, in my opinion. Is this fake or real? The guy's got ghosts all over his lawn. It's like the country bear jamboree for ghosts. Okay, so now we got something, you know, coming in in the car lights, and uh, you know, you know, this was supposed to be a ghost. It couldn't possibly be water. You think, oh, here's another one. Somebody strolling through the woods, you know, couldn't possibly be anything else, but this is another case. Is it real? Oh, this one's pretty scary. Is this a real ghost photo? Is this a fake ghost photo? Is this somebody's kid getting busted coming downstairs to watch, you know, growing up TV? Ah, oh, here we go. We got a nice shadow going on, kind of blobbish figure. Is that real? Is that fake? Is that paradelias? Okay, now these three guys are marching along the graveyard. I don't know. It's pretty convincing to me. You think those are real ghosts? They got the sheets and everything. Then we got another illuminated figure coming down the stairs. It couldn't possibly be anything but a ghost. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, okay. And then we got this guy here. This is the, you know, very famous ghost. Um, and he's pointing at you. You know, this couldn't be fake. You know, we got this one too. I don't know if this is a fake one or a real one. Open your door and there's a ghost with glasses. Your guess is as good as mine. What about this? Is this a real ghost? Or is this a fake ghost? Or is this an actual ghost photograph? you got to tell me, okay, because here we go. And then we're back to the uh, these fellows here who are very worried about ghosts, it seems like. And they have devices and they have a lot of that equipment that uh, supposedly ghost hunters have, okay? We got these guys again. We got all this kind of stuff. And... Uh, um, it's just a lot of fun. But anyway, as you can look through these as I'm talking, um, you know, you see these things and 
uh, we want to make shapes and designs out of them. We even did that as a little kid with stuff in the in the closet with monsters and whatnot, and 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 fooling ourselves. This couldn't possibly be water running down the wind windscreen. Saw a very convincing one once of a it was like a ghost walking across the road until you took a little bit longer look at it and it was just water streaming across the, the uh, windscreen of the thing. Uh, this is a you know Seven News and Mojo here. This kid. Whoever he is, I don't know, is he a ghost? Is he a per person? Then we got this black blob. I don't know. This couldn't possibly be just shadows or whatever. You know, not at all, could it? You know, because, oh, and then these three. It's definitely real. <laughs> yeah, right. Coming through the graveyard going to scare you. But anyway, we, we, we talked about these things. And uh, what I want you to do is have a critical eye when you're looking at any of these things. We're so eager to believe in, um, excuse me, I had an itch. So eager to believe that uh, the supernatural is real and that we've had some kind of special experience that we will uh, will blow these into something that they aren't, you know. Especially the little orbs that people tend to catch in their in their uh, pictures. I don't have a picture of an orb here because everybody's seeing them. They're tired of seeing them. Just, what they are is specks of dust in the in the white path of the camera and uh, it brings you back the old uh, there's a thing called Occam's razor and I'll try to summarize it best I can I could be a little bit inaccurate but the, the thing says all you know, the Occam's razor is this all things being equal the simplest explanation is most likely the correct one okay so when you're seeing these things what's the simplest explanation no it doesn't no person standing well we know what this one is but the simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. So don't get carried away on flights of fantasy. Don't get carried away on um, wanting to see something so bad that, you know, you fool yourself into seeing something so bad. That can be fun. But uh, keep a level head in mind about it because I tell you what, you know, there's a ton of them out there who is going to scam you, who are going to scam you and who are going to claim things and claim this and claim that. And uh, I just don't think it holds water, but um, it's it's fun to watch some of these photographs. I have seen some in the past that are fairly convincing to me that could possibly be real, whatever, specters or ghosts or phantoms or whatever. But uh, then again, you know, you, you got to try to start thinking about a logical explanation. And sometimes those logical explanations aren't simple. I mean, you might have to, it might be taking in consideration of light, the, uh, uh, what else is going on, all kinds of different things. And, uh, you know, it might take a little while to figure out exactly what you're seeing. But anyway, you know, I hope you hold this, enjoyed this early Halloween episode. And I hope you were able to, you know, pick out your favorite actual ghost photos versus your fakes versus your, you know, whatever, as you want to call them, that, uh, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we're going to see you next time on the Neon Wrangler Show.